بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today we have the data show of the cartilage The cartilage itself is diagnosed by having matrix cells inside the lacuna and in this picture actually it is the hyaline cartilage How do we diagnose that the hyaline cartilage by the presence of abundant matrix here which is more or less homogeneous so this is the hyaline cartilage in the cartilage you have to diagnose the perichondria this is the perichondria here and there and it is formed of outer fibrous layer formed of fibroblast denoted by this dark nuclei here and also the collagen fibers which are red this is the outer fibrous layer of the perichondrium in the deep layer of the perichondrium we have the chondrogenic layer which contains the cells that will form a chondroplast so this will be named as the chondrogenic layer of course, you may be asked about the type of the collagen present in the perichondrium. Actually, this uh, collagen is of type 1. Also, may you may be asked about the functions of the perichondrium. One or two functions. And actually, the functions are the support, nourishment, as it contains blood vessels. And it is also responsible for the formation of new cartilage from the surface of the cartilage which is called a positional growth also you can say it is the site of muscle attachment then after the perichondrium we have to discuss the cartilage itself structure we have on the top of the cartilage we have these flat or oval or spindle shaped cells these cells with oval nuclei are actually the chondroblast you may be asked about the em picture the chondroblast actually are characterized by the features of protein forming cells that they have Achromatic nucleus, abundant ribosomes, rough ER, large Golgi apparatus, and many mitochondria. And this is why, because the functions, you should also study the functions, is the formation of this matrix. The matrix of the cartilage is formed by the chondroplast, and when they are surrounded by the matrix and uh, uh, imprisoned in the lacuna they are now named as the chondrocytes so they form the cartilage matrix and they change into chondrocytes also they form the collagen of the type 2 present in the matrix so it is a protein in nature so it is uh, uh, responsible for uh, the uh, features of protein forming cells in these uh, uh, type of cells uh, cartilage also chondroblast also they are responsible for the appositional growth by formation of cartilage on the surface here or there so it is uh, appositional growth then we have in the deep or in the central part of the cartilage we have the mature cells or the chondrocytes uh, they develop also from uh, of course they develop from the chondroplast and they are surrounded by the matrix and they are present in a space called lacuna surrounded by condensed matrix uh, which is the capsule these cells are of course you have to study one or two lm and one or two EM features. They are more or less, they are rounded. Uh, here we have the chondrocytes which are present in the lacuna. So if we have a label at this structure, you can say chondrocyte in lacuna. Uh, the chondrocytes may be present singly, like this one, or in group 
which is called cell nest or isogenous group. Iso means one, genus means origin, so they are coming all from one cardio cell by mitosis. So this is the uh, label for the isogenous group, or they can be called cell nest. Uh, here also we have a, a label for this area, which is the, the matrix of the cartilage. So as a summary, we have the perichondrium, outer fibrous, inner chondrogenic. We have the chondroplast at the periphery. We have the chondrocytes in the center. We have the matrix. We have isogenous group or cell nest. Uh, try to revise the LM and EM picture of uh, the chondroplast and the chondrocytes. Also, uh, revise the functions of both types of cells. And finally, revise the site of the hyaline cartilage, which uh, is the uh, fetal cartilage, a uh, fetal bone, uh, and the articular surface of the joints in addition to the costal cartilage. Here we have another picture for hyaline cartilage. We have here the outer fibrous layer. Here we have the inner chondrogenic layer. The collagen present in the fibrous layer is of the collagen type 1. Here we have the chondroblast present here, and you should remember LM, EM picture of this chondroblast. Here we have the chondrocyte, which is uh, present in the center of the cartilage, and uh, the chondrocytes are present in the lacuna. And here we have the matrix, uh, and you should also know that uh, the matrix contains uh, the collagen fibers of the type 2, but they cannot be seen because they have the same refractive index as the matrix. Here we have another picture showing the perichondrium, the outer fibrous layer, the inner chondrogenic layer. Here we have the chondroplast in uh, the outer part of the cartilage, and here we have the chondrocytes in the lacuna. And this is the matrix in between. Uh, if you have a circle around this structure, it is the cell nest or the eye. Also, we have here group of cells. The cells will be present in groups of two or four or eight, and in this area I can say that it is a cell nest or isogenous group inside the secondary lacuna. Here we have the matrix which is present around the cells, very closely related to the cells, and here we have matrix in between the cells. Uh, you can see that the density of the staining in this matrix is more than that in the matrix in between the cells, and it is condensed as it is condensed here around the lacuna. Uh, here we have the uh, chondrocytes inside lacuna or chondrocytes in lacuna, and at the periphery of the cartilage, immediately under the perichondrium, you have the chondroplast. Here we have the chondrogenic layer, and this is the outer fibrous layer of the perichondrium. Also, we have that this area is the perichondrium, and this area is the outer fibrous layer, but this area is the inner chondrogenic layer. We have here, at the periphery, chondroplast. At the center, we have chondrocytes in lacuna, and here we have uh, the cell nest or the isogenous group. And the area in between, it is the matrix. Also, it is... A picture for a cartilage but in this condition it is not the hyaline cartilage as you can see we have labels for um, fibers here we have some fibers here present evident in the matrix here and there and these fibers can be seen clearly and not uh, uh, of the same refractive index as the matrix so this is the yellow elastic cartilage here you should know what are the sites of this cartilage. At least you should remember too. All the sites are starting by the letter E. We have the epiglottis. We have the external auditory meatus. We have the ostachian tube, the ear pen. 
here in the section you may be asked to identify the chondrocytes in the lacunae uh, the matrix the fibers here we have fibers this is this is all about this in this section this ribbon is formed of the elastic cartilage stained and it is covered on both sides by the skin in this section you can diagnose the skin very easily because we have here the hair follicles transversely cut so this is the picture of the yellow elastic cartilage in the ear pin as i have a skin from both sides so this is the yellow elastic cartilage of the ear pin and of course these are the chondrocytes present in the lacuna and also for the yellow elastic here we have labeling for the elastic fibers which are very evident and stained here to be clearly demonstrated and these are the chondrocytes in the lacunae and as you see there is a separation between the cell and the capsule of the lacunae and it is an artifact during preparation of the section if you have a group and uh, demarcated by a circle or something like that it is the cell nest or the isogenous group don't forget that the groups here never exceed the number of two so the groups here are of two cells only in the yellow elastic cartilage another picture which is uh, for another type or the third type of the cartilage which is the white fibrocartilage it is characterized by the presence of uh, these uh, rows of uh, cartilage with very minimal matrix in between these chondrocytes so all of these are the rows of uh, the cartilage cell chondrocyte in their lacuna and with very minimal matrix in between then uh, this is the most important feature for the white fibro cartilage. Uh, of course, you should know the size of the white fibro cartilage, which are the intervertebral disc and uh, the symphysis pubis, in addition to other sites. Also, you should know that the co uh, collagen fibers present here are of the type 1. So the collagen fibers here are of type 1 in between the rows of uh, cartilage cells. So, this is very important for you. Another thing you should remember is that this type of cartilage has no perichondrium at all. So, remember this and remember again that we have two only sites in which we have no perichondrium the first is the articular surface of the hyaline cartilage and the second is all types or the sites of the white fibro cartilage. This is another picture. You can see here that uh, uh, we have uh, the collagen fibers here present in between the rows of the collagen fibers. And also we have the uh, group or a row of uh, chondrocytes in lacunae and they are present in between the parallel bundles of collagen fibers. Don't forget the collagen here is of type 1. And don't forget that uh, it has no perichondrium and don't forget at least two sites for this white. Also, this is a white fibro cartilage, uh, cartilage and it is evident here that uh, it is uh, formed of uh, the rows of uh, the cartilage cells, chondrocytes in their lacunae and separated from each other by parallel bundles of uh, collagen fibers type 1. Also, here the same feature, so don't forget these features to, uh, uh, to answer a question what about uh, the features of the white fibro cartilage? How did you, how did you know this uh, white fibro cartilage? 
Uh, this is the trial test and of course this section for identification will be the hyaline cartilage. The red arrow here points to the matrix. The black one here points to the perichondrium. I can add more questions like uh, for an example a label for the chondroplast a label for this group of cells to be cell nest or isogenous group a label for the uh, inner chondrogenic layer here which is the deep layer of the perichondrium a second slide is the red arrow points to the matrix while the black one points to chondrocyte in lacuna the yellow arrow here points to cell nest or cell group or cell nest or isogenous group inside secondary lacuna here we have the fibrous layer of the perichondrium or the perichondrium here we have the matrix here we have chondrocytes in lacuna as you see uh, these are the cells present in the center and not at the periphery while this one would be the chondroplast also this is a picture for the cartilage but now it is a yellow elastic cartilage because I can see clearly these fibers and always we have a label for these fibers so the blue arrow points for the elastic fibers while the yellow arrow points to the chondrocyte in lacuna. Here we have this is one for the here the one here for the matrix two here for a fiber coming here and very evident so it is the yellow elastic fiber number three these are the chondro uh, sites inside their lacunae and number four we have uh, four and five are present in the pericordium so we have four it is the deep chondrogenic layer and five it is the outer uh, this slide also uh, very easy to be known as we have uh, bundles of collagen fibers parallel and in between we have uh, uh, grooves uh, in the form of more or less uh, lines parallel to each other and to the collagen fibers here we have the chondrocyte in lacuna here we have the collagen bundles of course you may be asked about its type it is collagen type 1 here we have this is the collagen and this is the collagen so the black arrows points to the collagen fibers while the blue arrows point to the chondrocytes in their lacunae this picture showing spongy bone here and it is covered by a very thin layer of compact bone and then we have the cartilage of course the cartilage is uh, of the hyaline type in the articular surface top. This is a question what cartilage nourish what cartilage nourishing tissue is missing at the interface shown. At the articular surfaces we have said that we don't have a perichondrium and the cartilage is nourished by diffusion from the synovial fluid. So what is missing here in this picture the perichondrium is the part missing here in the articular surfaces of the joints.